Hey guys! All right, so today I'm going to kind of show you a little bit of what a derby workout inside looks like. We have not been able to play derby since March, like the normal quarantine. Um, I think we ended practice on March 13th. I have been so busy at work, I have not been able to go for quite some time. So I am so excited to be back on skates. Um, I'm gonna do some edge work today, and then we also have a fun little treat that a couple of girls from my league did with a Jane Fonda video. We pretty much did the whole video on skates. It's pretty cool, um, so stay tuned. This is actually where I learned how to skate, where I practiced all my skills and everything when I first started. Um, but so with edging, I have a good side and a bad side. Eh, good sprawl word. I have a decent side and a bad side. But with edging, it's just putting all your weight on one side of your wheel. That's how you can get around the player and hopefully get in front of them. Um, missed it. I, Definitely miss skating. Uh, once I put these back on, I realize how much I missed it. Um, as you can see, I don't like going around this bucket. Um, it's harder for me, straight up. I am pretty strong coming in with that left side, but trying to go with that left side in front, my brain doesn't like to move that way. So my right leg in front is my strongest. Left leg in front is a struggle.
but started in 2017, really didn't get into it until mid-2018. I went through some personal stuff that kind of tore me away from Derby. And so when I got to go back and actually take it seriously in about June of 2018, I really, I lost all the weight I was trying to lose. I gave out the confidence I was really hoping for. And then I uh, just did it. I had an amazing support system with our team. Uh, the girls that I skate with are absolutely the most phenomenal people I've ever met. Um, so it's, Derby saved my soul. I say it all the time. And I, uh, I mean it. it if you have a local roller derby team by you, um, if you are in the Pasadena, Link City, Galveston, Houston area, we have a bank track team called Southside Roller Derby. That's where I skate for them. Um, that it's the most amazing group of girls I've ever met. If I could have done this when I first moved here in 2015, I would have. Absolutely. Uh, I wish I would have found it sooner. I say that every day. Uh, but the cool thing about the RV is We'll be able to still be local wherever we move. We'll still be local. I'll still be able to skate with my girls. Um, but even during this quarantine, we Zoom meet. We have online classes and practices that our amazing trainers teach us through. And like I said, I probably wouldn't be here without roller derby. I would not be in whatever shape I'm in now. Uh, I used to look a lot better. I'm trying to get back to where I was when I lost all the weight with derby. Um, I started derby at probably 235, 240 pounds, and I lost 60 of that within the first year and a half. Um, so, like, but like I said, the last year is really when I started taking it seriously. Uh, when I got my job, where I'm at now, it did kind of deter me from being able to do derby. Last year was a lot more difficult. I missed a lot more stuff, and I'm trying to get back to that. I'm trying to get back to what makes me happy. And this channel is all about that journey, um, not only just in the house, but also Devin and mine's emotional state of how we're going to get there. It's keeping us sane. And roller derby is part of that. Um, for him, it's motorcycles. I've started to ride motorcycles with him, so he can't get rid of me until I go to derby. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's this channel is supposed to show the growth that we're going to have in this house. And then eventually when we move, it's not just rebuilding a house. It's building a home between the two of us. We are recently engaged, so we have to start a journey somewhere. Thanks, guys.